watching The High Road with me, Keith Warren. Brought to you by Timber Creek Outdoors. There you go! Yeah, whenever you're ready, squeeze that trigger. Today we are in one of the prettiest areas of all of Texas, which is the northern part of the Texas Hill Country, and we are on an exotic hunt at Stone Creek Ranch. Last year when we hunted here at Stone Creek, we shared camp with Kyle and Caleb Klaus. Kyle Klaus works for Liberty Safe, and he and my dad have worked together for years and years, so it was really fun for me to be able to share hunting camp with him finally. My name is Kyle Klaus with Liberty Safe. I'm out here at the Stone Creek Ranch in Gatesville, Texas. Uh, last year I was out here with Keith and Maddie and I brought my son Caleb. We had such a good time uh, that we're back out uh, at the same ranch this year uh, with Keith and Maddie and I brought my daughter Shaylee. My name is Shaylee Klaus. I'm here at Stone Creek Ranch to hunt with my dad for the first time and I'm really excited. One of the things my family does for fun is ride horses. My brother and my dad are really big into team roping but I like barrel racing. So with Kyle bringing his daughter Shaylee, it was going to be a good daddy-daughter duo here in camp, but I thought of another daddy-daughter duo that I couldn't resist inviting. That's Tyler and Taylor Tiller. Now the type of exotic we're hunting for is either going to be a coal or a doe, just because this is a management hunt. We're not hunting for anything massive, we're just trying to keep this ranch's numbers level. Now the man that's making this hunt happen is Tom. He's the owner of Stone Creek Ranch and he's an absolutely incredible man. I love him, he's great at hunting, he's got a great operation, but the thing that I love most about him is that he really values having kids come out here and helping get them involved in our great sport. My name is Tom Leiser. I'm the owner and operator of Stone Creek Ranch. And today and this week, we have some very special hunters, Taylor and Shaley, out here at Stone Creek. Father-daughter hunts are particularly special here. I get a great deal of joy out of seeing the father pass down the knowledge that he has with respect to wildlife, with respect to safety, with respect to mother nature, and how all of that interacts in a hunt with their daughters. All right, Shaley, this is the gun we're gonna be shooting with. I right hear go ahead and take that. While we're at this uh, safe, this is a National Magnum 50. And one of the things that I wanna point out that's really cool about our safes is that many of our models come with what we call the three-in-one and four-in-one flex interior. And that means that you can adjust the safe to fit your collection needs, uh, to fit your firearm needs, and also to fit uh, your other needs, such as family heirlooms, collectibles, things like that that you wanna store and preserve and protect inside your Liberty safe. So here you'll see I just grabbed the gun out of what is called our collector's rack that holds many different uh, layers of, of uh, firearms. But all of our shelves uh, are also adjusted. So if I lift this shelf up here inside the safe, you can see that I've got our easy out rack. And these shelves on our safes can also be removed and adjusted, again, to fit your own personal needs. So the versatility of a Liberty safe is very important to us. We wanna make sure that our customers not only have the best fire protection, the best security protection, but that they also are able to adjust their safes to accommodate and fit your own personal needs. The first stop when we go anywhere is the range. When you're traveling, whether it's five miles or 500 miles, you need to make sure that you're gun sighted in. Okay, Shaylee, whenever you're ready, take your time. Oh, perfect. That was good. Okay. Now, let's let Taylor shoot, and then I think you're ready to head to the stand. All right, Taylor is on deck now. She's shooting a 6.5 Grindle. It's decked out in Timber Creek. It actually matches my personal build. We've hunted together a couple of times before, so I'm excited for us to be hunting again. Right now, we're gonna make sure her rifle is still on, so whenever you're ready, put it on fire and you squeeze the trigger. Oh, sweet. Okay, now you're ready to have some fun? Let's do it. I'm Tyler with Timber Creek Outdoors. I'm really excited to be down here this week at Stone Creek Ranch, hunting with my daughter, Taylor. 
We've been friends with Keith and Maddie for a while, and Maddie and Taylor developed this relationship, and they text back and forth and talk on the phone every once in a while, so it's really neat to have Taylor here to be able to spend time with Maddie. My name is Taylor Tiller. I am very excited to be here at Stone Creek Ranch with my dad and my best friend Maddie to do some hunting. Exotics are really smart and they are very tough to hunt. They've got great eyes and they've got an even better sense of smell. And it's for that reason that Taylor and I sprayed down with scent killer. I explained to her the importance of doing so. That way we could try to get them closer to us, level the playing field and get her a close shot with that little gun. Now we've got a big group here in camp, so we're gonna have to split up. In one blind, we're gonna have the Klauses, so you've got Shaylee, Caleb, and Kyle. And then in one blind, you're gonna have Tyler and Taylor, and I'm gonna crash their party and help Taylor out a little in the blind. All right, we got in the stand a little bit late. That's okay, we're gonna sit tight until dark and see what comes out. We've got a beautiful sunset going down, and we're just gonna have some fun and see if anything comes out. So we're sitting in the blind, having fun. There's a lot of animal movement, but nothing's moving that we can pull the trigger on. We were all visiting and a black buck doe came walking in and Maddie said, that's a good black buck doe and I think we're gonna try to take it down. Hey Taylor. Yeah. You see that black buck doe to the right of the feeder? It's standing broadside. Yeah, I see it. Do you think you can make that shot? Yeah. Let's get your gun up. Okay, put it on fire, but keep your finger off the trigger. Yeah, whenever you're ready, squeeze that trigger. Right behind the shoulder, right in that white spot. Oh, you whopped her. Look at her going. Good job, sweetheart. Where's she going? Good job. That was awesome. That was a perfect shot. Are you proud of yourself? Yeah. You want to go see it? Yes. Well, Taylor is a little black buck killing machine. This is what, your second black buck? Yeah. And how old are you? 11. 11? That's pretty good for a little pretty 11 year old girl. And she made a perfect shot. It was what, 150 yards? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it was a long shot and she's got her pretty little Timber Creek build, it's all decked out in Tiffany blue, got some blood on it, <laughs> right next to the Timber Creek. But this is awesome, it's only, what, our first real day here, so it's gonna mm -hmm. be a good couple of days. All right, we just got in the blind, and it's a little hot out, but we hope Bree's gone right now, so hope we'll get something. So we're in the blind, we're not seeing a lot of action. It's getting right at the cusp of dark. And uh, just when it's about the close of evening, here walks in this white fallow deer and, and an axis and uh, comes right into view, comes right into uh, the 100 yard range and couldn't be more excited for Shaley to take this shot. Shoot the fellow on the left. When you're ready, go ahead and shoot. All right, go ahead, honey. After I shot it, I felt really excited that I had finally gotten my first animal, and I just couldn't wait to go down and see it. So here he is, uh, Shaylee, you got a white fallow deer. Uh, tell us what you think. I think it's great. I'm so excited that I was able to shoot a fallow because that's one of the things I wanted. And I'm really excited to get the meat and I'm really excited for the back strap. And I want to make some nice pillows out of its fur. So I'm excited. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome experience to uh, be out here with my daughter Shaylee. It's her first time uh, on a hunt and uh, really excited that she was able to grab this fallow deer. Everywhere I go, I know that Lucas products are going to keep my farms working tip top shape. All right, I got to be honest with you. I do not like cleaning guns, but an MSR like this one right here has to be cleaned, especially if it has a suppressor. 
And the thing is with a suppressor, these guns get really, really dirty much quicker. And the reason why, because it blows back all the gas back into the gun rather than out the muzzle. And so when you take a look at the ammunition, when you look at that case, that case is filthy dirty. Okay, all the cases in the magazine will look just like that. And so many times MSRs have a hard time cycling. And the reason why is because your cases are dirty. Here's a way that you can fix that real easy where the gun will cycle perfectly. And this stuff is just a miracle. We ought to have a before and after shot. I mean, when you do this, you're gonna really be impressed. But pour it on the rag like this and take it. Just wipe your casing. I think you will see that it's absolutely beautiful. So if you've got an MSR, especially one that you shoot with a suppressor, and you have a hard time with it cycling, yep, use some CLP. But at the same time, if you want to clean your casings, you can do that with the Lucas Gunmetal Polish. So Shaley got her fallow deer, and uh, she doesn't know yet, but Tom approached me last night and said, hey, if you see a black buck, go ahead and take down a black buck. And so we're out here this morning and just hoping that a black buck comes into view. I really like Tom because he's really nice and I'm super excited that he let me come out and we were able to hunt for the first time with my dad and spend time with him. One of the things that brings me particular joy out here when a father and a daughter are hunting together is the fact that there's this escape from the digital world. There's this heightened sense of their senses. That's all part of the joy of this father-daughter hunt. So we're in the blind, it's been kind of a slow morning, we haven't seen a lot of activity, and all of a sudden we look off to the right, and here walks in a black buck. There's an axis right with him, so be careful, we can't shoot the axis. Okay. Do you see him in your sights? Yeah, he's right here. Take your time. The tree's kind of in my way. Yeah, we don't want anything in your way at all. Wait till he moves and I'm clearing a little bit more. after I shot my black buck and I was so excited to go down and see it and I wanted to get a really nice mountain something so I was excited that I was able to get a buck. Yeah there he is right there he didn't go far at all. Wow Shannon look how beautiful he is. Beautiful shot Shaley. What a great shot and with a beautiful black buck. Uh, you took him down with this LWRC caliber in 308. Uh, tell us about it. We were just sitting up in the stand and we were watching it for a while and then I just, it went broadside and I got a good shot. Yeah, last night Tom uh, gave us the go ahead that if we saw a black buck to go ahead and uh, take it. Beautiful black buck. Uh, couldn't be more excited to be back out here at Stone Creek Ranch with Shaylee and my son Caleb and uh, uh, experiencing this together. All right, so I'm on deck. Maddie has been uh, in the blind guiding, and I've actually been filming Taylor and Maddie and Tyler. But anyway, Johnny is now on here because uh, Shaylee and her dad left a little while ago, and Maddie had to run them back to the airport. So anyway, I'm in here basically being the guide, not like Killer needs a guide or anything, but <laughs> but we got a good breeze going, and hopefully something's going to show up. And, we can see how this little girl shoots. Hey, Mr. Keith, could I put something on your face? What? Can I put some camo makeup on your face? Oh, I hate that stuff. You really want to do it? Okay, do it. But you gotta be nice. <laughs> How's it look? 
You want me to do you now? Sure. Okay. <laughs> Pretty good right there. I love it. I love it. Next. <laughs> We're having fun. That's all that matters. You look like you got a You need to shave a little bit. <laughs> See the white leg of it. Yes. John, are you good? Yeah, the big one. It's walking out. You see it coming out. That's the dough. Can you put it on fire? Squeeze the trigger. Perfect. 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 That's exactly what we're looking for, sweetheart. Holy shit. Good job. Mm. I felt really good because the crosshairs were right where they're supposed to be and I felt sturdy and I was not shaking at all and I felt really good about my shot. So it's funny how things turn out. I mean, last night we were sitting in the blind and Taylor says, well, it's almost dark. I said, how long are we going to stay? Until it's dark, until we can't see. Yeah, and right at that point, we had a great <clears throat> big axis buck come out and I said, just hold on because it may not be alone and sure enough, this doe came out with it, and I mean, the second you hit it, I mean, I remember saying, I knew it was perfect. We looked for it for a couple hours last night. Huh? Yeah. I mean, we stayed at it, and thank goodness it got a little cool <coughs> last night, so we went out first thing this morning. I mean, literally just right here. So what a beautiful animal, and congratulations. Thank you. Have you had a good time? Yes. Well, I've had a great time with you as always. I mean, it's wonderful, and how about you, Ty? I've had a great time, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah, this is a this is about as good as it gets. You know, if y'all want more information about coming out here to Stone Creek, this is on the northern edge of the Texas Hill Country. Contact Tom and the guys over there; they will take care of you. I promise. And if you have any questions or comments about the show, we'd love to hear from you. And, and before we close out, I want to say that uh, if you've got a kid in your life, spend some real good quality time and take them hunting. You know, I think about how grateful we should be that we live in a country like this and that I live in a state like Texas where there are tons of ranches like this, like Stone Creek. And I just want to thank Tom and everybody else who made this happen because hunting won't be alive without us passing it down like this. So getting my kids involved in hunting has been a great experience. Uh, to me as a father, looking at them progress and push them uh, to greater limits and, and past their limits so that they can become the best people that they can become. I love the outdoors because I think it's really pretty and I like spending time out in nature. I like that when I come outdoors that there aren't any electronics around so I can just spend time with my family and get closer to them. I like hunting with my dad because it's a time when we just us can spend time together. Normally it's for a couple days and it's pretty fun. Proud dad. It's real hard to put into words. Being out in the woods, I get to spend a lot of time with my daughter, just me and her, and, and it's a real special time to bond with her. And watching her succeed uh, in, in the hunting atmosphere makes me really proud. And, and it's cool that the thing I can be proud of uh, stems from the time I spend together with her. Taxidermy work for the High Road Group is provided by Conroe Taxidermy, Conroe, Texas.